so hello everyone uh, my name is mukul and i will be showing you today how to build a snowflake dashboard on drone hq so let's start now here we will create a app so we will click on blank app let's say we gave it a name snowflake dashboard in description we will write uh building a dashboard using snowflake and we will give any of the icon let's say this suits and click on the create app started with a blank app now for creating a snowflake dashboard we need few controls so these control will help in interacting with the app let's say fetching the data displaying the data and you know adding the data so this is the dashboard i have built for my use case it is a hr analytics dashboard so it is it is made up of using two dashboard controls two chart controls and one table grid controls so the function of dashboard control is to display the insight of the data chart control will give the interpretation of the data and table grid is for using the crud operations so now we have to integrate our connector so let's start with integrating our snowflake connector so in the connectors we will click on plus connector and we will click on snowflake so here it asks for the name of connector let's say i give it a name snowflake 1 for the account name we will go to the snowflake app and in the snowflake app you have to log in into your account and from the url on your omni box you have to get your account name so this so the uh, url of the snowflake app is of the form app.snowflake.com/region/locator so we have to copy both region and locator and our account name will be of the format locator that is this dot uh, region so this will be our account name and our data and base name so i have created a database crud one you can create uh, your database with any name so our database name is crud one and in that database we have a scheme of employee details so we will write here employee details uh so username my username is one and i'm filling this details database warehouse my database warehouse is compute wh user role is account admin and we will click on test connection this so we can see the connection is successful and you can go ahead so we will click on save so we have successfully added our connector so let's see how we can make a table through snowflake app so here we can see we are currently in our schema employee details emp details and from here we can see there is a create button on top right we will click on this and we can see there is a option for add creating a table it has a drop down of standard select external currently we need to deal with standard so now this shows us the template it has a standard template for creating the table let's create a table So as you can see, I have added a table with the name of HR table. It has uh, columns named as employee ID, average monthly hours, number of projects, promotion, salary, sales, satisfaction. And now we will go back to our Snowflake dashboard and we'll add a query. So we will click on Add Query, and likewise we will add a query. We will give the give it a name of Get Employees. because we want to get all the employees so we will use the select query select a strip from hr table which is the name of our table and click on test query so the query has been executed successfully and it also shows the data in the table currently it has only one row and we can add further rows so click on the save to save this query and now we will add 
more queries. We added the queries which will be required in this integration. So, so let's start with adding the data to the controls. I will show you how to integrate the data from queries to a control. So for this dashboard control, I will be showing you. So for the title text, so now we have selected the title text. The title text is $32,62.7 and we wanted to change it. Uh, let's say, let's first integrate with Snowflake and see what we can do. Let's say we want get employees. We want all employees. And yes, I need all the columns. Uh, not all the columns. Number of projects. Let's say I want it only number of projects. So we will click on test and finish. So, so these are the number of projects completed by every employee, each employee. So now we will use custom formula and we can see there are many. So we can take a sum of it and get to know what type how many projects totally have been completed. One eighty six. So one eighty six projects have been completed. Now we want the footer text. Let's say we again want to get the total number of. Uh, let's say this time we want the number of employees we have. So the total number of employees will be given by employee ID count and we will get it here. Let's say we want only employee ID. We will click test and finish. So here we can see, uh, yeah, a lot of employee IDs there. So now again, we will go to custom formula and we will write the count. So this count will give me the total number of employees we have. But let's say the case is each employee is, is expected to complete four projects at the least. So the total number of projects will be the multiplication of four comma the count of total number of employees we have. So we will display it here. Click on save and validate. So here it comes to 200. So now the heading we have to change like heading does not give the total. So, so now we have to change the heading and we will change it using header type because heading is not giving a correct interpretation. So we can hard code it just write like total number of projects. completed and click on save and you can remove this tag and the progress bar from the properties yeah now it looks great so it shows the total number of projects completed 186 uh, now we have to do one thing like what is 200 we don't know in the footer text only we will write from the in the custom formula concat we will write out of and we will do this and do this so this will show how we so this So yeah, now it looks like something in interpretable. And similarly, we will apply this to all the controls. Similarly, I have integrated the data to each of the dashboards and see how the dashboard looks. Looks pretty good. So let's preview to see our dashboard. So 
so here is the table we can see every employee detail we can click on add button to add the data we can click on refresh to refresh the table even we can see the insight like job satisfaction of employees department wise shows the various legends shows revenue over the years then dashboards give are giving a good insight so you see how quick that was now start building your own dashboard using drone hq thank you